calling you a radical, a liberal. Hi, Kevin Blanche. I'm going to change out my format a little bit. I'm going to talk about multiple subject matter in one YouTube video. We all know that YouTube videos are the ultimate take it out of context media. I get people coming at me, like I put up a video on the comparison of socialism, communism, uh, capitalism, and people, why am please? A subject matter that takes Literally years and years and years and years and years, I understand? You think, and I'm going to explain it in seven fucking minutes, you're going to fucking sit there tight. I mean, come on with that fucking shit. First, number one, I'm going to talk about Fukushima, the fucking nightmare over there in fucking Japan. We've had some confusion. I have a friend who's a journalist in Hong Kong. I've had some confusion. A lot of people have had some confusion. Some of you uh, viewers out there have helped me out. I mean, I get a lot of people to come to my site with incredible information. It helps a lot. It, the networking via YouTube is a big deal. There are two plants over there named Fukushima. Two separate plants, not separate reactors. One plant has six or seven reactors on it. The other six, I presume. The other has five. They're miles away from each other. They're named the same fucking thing. Now, that fuckhead... TEPCO comes out and says that three have had full-blown-out core meltdowns. Now they admit it. So we know factually, factually, that the media fucking lied to us. Yeah, and the fucking, you know, as Fox and the neocon fucking Kool-Aid nutcase right says, the lame strain fucking media. Yeah, they pick and choose what they want to report. There's no fucking doubt. And they surely didn't want to fucking report this. I mean, how long was Anderson fucking Cooper in uh, Haiti? Months. How long was they, were they in Indonesia? Months. How long were they in Japan? Days. They report what they want to fucking report. But the fucking Fox, Neurocon, fucking mentally ill, sick, fuckhead pieces of shit. They just plain make shit up. The Republican Party is Fox News. The fear fucking thing. They just make shit up. There are fucking full two fucking reactors. Or three, excuse me. With full blown out core meltdowns. That's coming right from TEPCO's mouth. So that probably means six. Because they're lying fuckers. We're getting massive amounts of plutonium going in there. Dr. DeGarry has been coming to my site. He is fucking brilliant. He is brilliant. He is unbelievable with his writings. I've been putting them on, posting them. He writes over and over. This is a lifetime of studies. He, how to handle this, what to do, the different reports out of the world. His site, I posted his tag on my site, Blanche Schwartz. You go to Blanche Schwartz, long-term look at effects. I've got all kinds of information. His site's there. His site's amazing. He is amazing. Okay, second, I want to talk about investment. Your money. If you have any, like, what's this? I ain't got no money, so it don't matter. Yeah, well, I ain't got a lot either, but not like I used to. But I got to practice what I preach because my students are watching this. Look, I tell you students all the time, if you can make 25% in a few days or a couple weeks, you got to take it. Well, I shorted silver week, two weeks ago in the $45 range, $46 range, $42 range, $44. I kept shorting it, and I bought the triple leverage and the double leverage on the SLV. We're at 32. Do the math. That's a score. On average, I'm way up over 50% in just a few days. So I'm going to take it today. We're at $33 on silver today right now. Check the time as I'm putting up. So I think we're at 33 33 right now. I'm going to take it. I can always reload and I'll reload. And Soros dumped his gold. Now, when these guys like Buffett and everything, they disclose what they have did. They disclose after the fact. And then uh, guys like Soros and Buffett have agreements with the SEC that they can trickle through this for the reason that everybody's a front run and cause a run on the uh, commodities. Soros dumped all this freaking gold. And if you don't think Soros is a fucking guru, fucking genius, you're fucking crazy. He is the genius. And when he unloads some, it means something to me, I'll tell you that. I've been in this business a long fucking time. Okay, also I want to talk about Strauss Khan, the IMF chief. That whole fucking gig in New York with him is the fishiest fucking smelling fucking thing I ever fucking heard of. Wow. Mark my words. As that evolves and comes out, they're going to hear a whole fucking different set of circumstances. It makes no fucking sense to me whatsoever. Yeah, grinding the fucking man's a fucking womanizer. There's fucking no doubt. This whole thing makes absolutely no sense. He has huge experience with women. And there has been a young girl in France come over and said that she had to fight him off. In the, so who knows? I don't know. But the whole fucking thing stinks. 
stinks. I mean, stinks. I can't imagine a fucking man of that wealth, of that fucking integrity. You know, he's a genius. with the. I mean, the man is truly a fucking genius with fucking currency. I mean, he, his work has been unbelievable, but did he, I don't know if he did this or not, but fuck, we're going to find out. But my guess in my gut is something really, we're going to hear whole different fucking stories evolving out of this. So, in America where we just fucking jump on something, fucking hammer something, uh, 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 how often the fucking is it wrong? Now, as far as the police go in Manhattan, and they're, they're the best. They're the best. I've lived there multiple times in my life. They're the best. They'll get it right. Their court systems, they'll get it rocking right. Back to the fucking, uh, your investment portfolio. I'll be disclosing. I went almost, it's almost been exactly a year. And we'll be discussing. I, ha I had a great year in that portfolio. A really good year. Now, I bought Apple last year. I bought IBM last year. I bought Microsoft last year. And there's a reason I bought Microsoft. I bought Microsoft because I've never owned that piece of shit. Because I hate Gates. What he's freaking done. He squashed so much technology. But I was thinking that they would break themselves up and do what the Justice Department wanted them to do. If they would have done what the Justice Department wanted them to do until Bush rescued them, and we know how Bush rescues fucking people. <laughs> if Bush rescues you, you don't need to be fucking rescued. If he fucking goes after you, you don't need to be gone after. That's what happened to them. They wish they were broke up because that stock has been the fucking biggest lagger in the fucking Dow since then. So stay with me. The fucking nightmare in Japan. There are three full blown out cores. That's coming right from TEPCO. We were lied to. Anderson Cooper on fucking CNN and those guys, you know, on Fox all of them. They fucking lied to us. I hate to say it. I really do. I hate to fucking say it. It's one thing just to report one thing, but they spent billions of fucking dollars saying we're the most trusted fucking news. They have a fucking obligation. They have an obligation. It's, it's, okay, you could pick and choose your fucking news. We understand you're fucking entertainment and you're really not news. We understand that. But when you fucking pick and choose, okay, okay. Fox is playing makes fucking shit up and those fucking criminal motherfuckers, but they have five Supreme Court justices on their side. They can do whatever they fucking want. They are the Republican fucking party. And I'm going to get more into the fucking liberals versus Democrats. And if you think liberals are, are uh, all Democrats and conservatives are Republicans, you're crazy. Right here in Utah, we have three major fucking players, three major players in the political arena. Two are liberals, one's conservative. The two liberals are going to run for president, you know, they're saying they're going to, one of them is going to be the front runner, and they are Republicans. The one hard, hardcore conservative is a Democrat named Harry Reid. Mitt Romney is a big time liberal. John Huntsman is the most liberal man I've ever known in my whole life. I love the guy. He, ran, he well, the biggest conservative I've ever known in the Mormon community as far as politics go in my life is Harry Reid, bar none. He's one of the big problems with fucking Congress because you say when the Democrats had the majority or whatever, they weren't fucking liberals. These fucking so-called blue dogs, they're more fucking, they're more conservative than fucking elephants. Stay tuned with me. Kevin Blanche.